So chopping trees, we're going to need wood for stuff and we can cut down any of the trees. However, I have a particular priority for removing the area inside these annoying flashing blue lines. To remove the trees, it's D for designate and then it is T to chop. Now we want to make sure that we chop the trees at the very base of the tree. So we'll start off by going to the very lowest areas. We've got a low area here and we've got a low area here. So we want to chop down this tree, but there we are halfway up a trunk. So if we follow, let me put my cursor just below it. If we go down a layer, we'll see that that trunk is still there. If we go down a further layer, we're into solid ground. So the bottom of the trees, it's two trees actually, is here. So let's chop down, let's see we've got box select is on. So we can just mark those two trees there. In this low area here, there are no trees. What we can do is even do a whole big sweep like so. And yes, it just picks up two trees there. So now we'll go up to the next layer and ignoring the trees that are in the lower areas, we'll go Pick up that tree there and then we can do a big sweep across and we'll say, oh, what about that tree? So let's just go to there. Now that tree, is that tree down or up? It's up. So we want to cut the tree at this layer for that one. Okay, so there's a good number of trees that have been marked for chopping. Now to get the dwarfs to chop the tree, we need to make sure that they have a battle axe and we need to make sure that they've been designated as a tree chopper. So let's check that. Go to Dwarf Therapist and we want to pick somebody for wood cutting. Now, the one person we can't use is Spotted Cow. Spotted Cow has a deep respect for nature and we'll get really upset if he's asked to cut trees down. So I think we'll go for, we can't use any of our miners because they can't do both mining and wood cutting. So I think we'll use Potatina. And then it's commit changes. Okay, so we only have one ax, so we can only get one dwarf chopping trees. Now, if your dwarfs don't start chopping down trees, there could be a few reasons why. Now, the reason here why they wouldn't chop trees is because when I set those trees to be chopped, I actually had it on marker. So what I need to do is to switch it to standard and I can either just go straight over it as I shall here and then it turns to brown instead of blue. Or I could toggle by using capital M and say anything that is marked here change it from what it is to the other version. So that's changed it from marker only to active. Now I don't want to do that in this area because I've, I don't want to get my digging dwarves busy channeling. So we'll just remark the trees again. So it's T, make sure it's on standard. And I can highlight the trees in that whole area. It's fairly common to have problems with dwarves not chopping trees. It's one of the more common frustrations. However, there's only a small number of reasons as to why that might be. One is that, like I've just done, the tree that was marked for chopping was done in marker mode instead of standard mode. The other reason is that your tree chopping dwarves don't have axes. Maybe your axes have been claimed by the military so they don't have the tools to do it. It could be that your tree chopping dwarves are in the military. With a few exceptions, military dwarves won't chop trees or mine. So if your tree chopper is in the military, even when they're not on active duty, with a few exceptions, they won't go chop down trees. To play it safe, it's worth choosing your long-term tree chopper to be somebody who is not going to be a military dwarf. 
Another reason why they may not chop down trees is because they can't path to it. It might be that the tree that you have identified for chopping, you've marked part way up the tree. It would be very easy to tell them to come and chop down that tree there, but that's not the base of the tree. The base of the tree is down there. Let's just mark that again for chopping. Also, if you have burrows, and we'll cover burrows in a different episode, if you have a burrow, and your tree chopping dwarf is assigned to a burrow and the tree is outside of that burrow, it won't go and chop down the tree. I can't think of any other reasons why dwarves don't chop down trees. If you can think of any other reasons that prevent dwarves from chopping trees, uh, please leave it in the comments. Now, other things about chopping trees. When we arrived at this embark here, as you can see, we've got some animals in the tree. I even had a dwarf in the tree at one point. If you get creatures stuck in the tree, chopping the tree down is the most certain way of getting them out of the tree. They can sustain injuries if you chop a tree that has a creature in it. However, staying in the tree is certain death. So chopping the tree down is a good idea. Something to consider when chopping down trees is situations like this. We are digging out a room. Now, if we go up, you can see that the room is only one level deep. If we chop down a tree above a room that's only one level deep, that's, so there'll be an empty space immediately below it. So this tree here is a prime candidate. That tree there, if we go down, that tree is there. It's immediately above an open space. When you chop down a tree that is above an open space, it'll leave a hole in the roof that things can fly through, jump through. Um, that can lead to a lot of fun. So there's two ways to avoid this. One is don't chop trees that are immediately above mined out areas. And the other thing is to make sure that you mine down a level of more than one layer in depth. Now for me, I'm not too worried about it because this is a temporary room and it's not going to be in contact with any of the rest of my base. But for the rest of my base, I'll be very careful to make sure that everywhere I dig has at least two layers of rock or soil above it. Right, well, let's press on pause and see what happens. Right, well, we can see that that coaty is making a beeline for our stuff. Let's see if something attacks it yes so a dwarf has scared it off so that's a good thing we're down to four idlers so we have one dwarf that's gone chopping trees we should be able to see which tree that dwarf has gone to chop okay so you can see that symbol there that means that 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 a dwarf is about to go start chopping down that tree so I have three idlers at the moment. I'm going to leave them. They will hang around by the cart and they'll help to keep any thieves at bay. Meanwhile, the mining dwarves are coming to channel out. There we go. They've channeled out that area and they're starting to dig. To stop a dwarf from cutting down a tree, it is D for designation and X for remove designation. So if we had, say, we had marked down this tree here and we didn't want them to chop it down, we would do X to remove that designation. And that works whether you're on standard or marker. Okay, once they've chopped it down, you get piles of wood all over the place. And that wood can be stored in stockpiles. Okay, we see that the coatie has been scared a little by the peacock, but the peacock has also been scared by the coatie. But it is trying to get to our stuff, so we need to be a little bit cautious about this. Just make sure that we've got dwarves nearby at all times. 